Hello. One Yenza here. Ooh, dot com. Ping, what is up? Steelers get eliminated. They suck. They suck. Fire the whole team. All right. So, hmm. This is a Pittsburgh Panthers. This is starter. So I'm guessing this is late 90s. I'm not sure what the starter is. Maybe it'll say on a tag, so we'll see. Nope, see what the pros, they would say the year. Copyright, whatever. All right, so nothing there. Let's see. Uh -uh. This is silkscreen. Pittsburgh is silkscreen. This is a replica. Everything is silkscreen. Except the jock tag. Which is stitched on. I'm not sure if there's anything down here. Let's take a look underneath. Alright, I don't see anything. So, we'll go with the sleeves. Panzer's old logo. Starter's logo. Sleeves. Numbers. Silk screen. <clears throat> uh, kind of stuffy today. Onionza.com. Alright, there's Ping. What? What? Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, so this is the back of it. Remember, college back in the day still don't put the player's name on the back. It's so wrong. Pay the players legally. I mean, they're probably getting more money without it from boosters and everything, so. No name bar. You can put whoever you want to. What? Troy Palomalo or number 43 for Pittsburgh? What? That was the Steelers. Oh, that's right. Well, if he would have went to Pitt, that's how it would have happened. I'm always weird how this white is always different than that white. But that's the way that it is. Onionza.com. All right, so there you have it. Now you know. Pittsburgh Panthers, late 90s. Replica, retail, away, starter. Football jersey. This is number 43, even though you really can't tell because of the way that the jersey's sitting. But probably such a better off person now that you know what this replica from the late 90s uh, uh, is it's kind of a cool jersey though okay thanks right thing thing